What's going on you guys, DZ Rocks here back with another drop of knowledge. In this one we're going to talk about battle tactics. Battle tactics meaning when you're not dancing and it's the other person's round, what can you do to get the upper hand as you stand there and wait for your round? There's some things that you can do that's going to give you the upper hand and get into their head to mess them up. So if you're new here, subscribe for more content just like this, dropping knowledge, how-tos, musicality Mondays, and plenty of stuff to help you grow as a dancer and have fun with your boy along the way. With that said, run the intro, let's get into it. So, battle tactics, it's, it, it, it's all about getting into that other person's head and in the battle you need to use every single thing that you can at your disposal to make sure that you win it's all about winning when you battle nothing else matters yes we have friendly battles but in the end if you really want to be great you got to still want to dog them in those family battles it's all good at the end but during nah it's all bad we enemies and i'm coming for your neck so even if you don't have that mentality, you can still kind of use these tricks just to kind of flip people up. And some of the things that uh, I've been doing that I've seen people do that I've picked up over the years that I'm going to try to share with y'all today. So, one of the first things that you can do uh, is if you see them looking down or looking anywhere else, you want to force that eye contact with them. Make sure that they're looking at you right there in your eyes so they know that now nah, I'm right here I'm battling you you gotta pay attention to me you're not gonna get away battling like this or just trying to be here now nah, I need you here so if you can follow their eyes and hey hey I'm, I'm right here where you at and that I'm telling you ooh that trip, ooh that trip people up you'll be like <laughs> uh, it helps out because people can't really look into each other's eyes without that um, comfort, so you want to try to exploit that if you can. Second way, to be really, 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 really hard to impress. <laughs> Even if it's dope, be like, yeah. so most of the time, just stand there, keep eye contact. Whatever it is they do, they get up in your face, they get all in your bubble, you don't even react. You just chill. Let them do them, whatever. Don't even affect you. Yep. Oh, uh, they're right here, blah, 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 blah. A word. It's crazy. So don't even let it affect you. All right, now if you stand there like a statue, it looks like nothing that they're doing. You even care about, you got something ready, just like, boom, up my sleeve. Bam, you didn't even know I just put it on the floor like that, you know what I'm saying? I just put it on the floor like that. Bang. <laughs> Another thing I've seen people do, this is a Imagine trying to battle somebody and then you try to get in front of them and then nah, nah, boy that would get irritated, you know what I mean? And that's what you want to do, you want to try to get them off of their game, you want to get them focused on, what the hell, what is he doing? He ain't even gonna watch me? Like, and then they're still trying to dance and they don't even realize that they haven't even been thinking about it, they're only thinking about you and why your back is turned, what they can do to make you look. So. You're already making them get out of their comfort zone and step into a whole different thing that they're not used to. So, doing those certain things, I'm telling you, gets in their head and it always drives them crazy. When you turn your back on people, boy, I've seen people just be ready to fight, like literally <laughs> ready to fight just because I turn my back on the <laughs> Dramatic chipmunk. <laughs> And I'm sure what you've seen people do, you've seen people go up to them, hey, handshake, ah, ice cold, baby, ice cold, what's cooler than being cool? So, you want to even use that tactic if you can, just to get them that, uh, oh, okay, you play me, you, pl you play me, you, you play me, you hit the juke move on me on, the only thing about that though is that you set yourself up because you can put it out and they can do it right to you. They could be like, ah, no. <laughs> or they like, just too fast and they actually grab your damn hand and now you're stuck. Oh, shit, oh. Hmm. <laughs> so, use it cautiously, I would say. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, with battle tactics, you're, you're wanting to do anything that you can as you stand there. Your round isn't over. 
just because you stopped dancing. Uh, you want to make sure that you're still being seen, you're still making your presence felt, so that you don't let them just take over the whole thing and kind of run the floor. You want to make sure that you are doing anything you can to get them off their game, to make it easier for you when your round starts to come out, I got you. Because if you get them, you can get them at the start before you even start dancing. I've seen it happen. So, um, think about these battle tactics. Pay attention to battles. Watch a lot of battles. See what it is that people do. You notice a lot of things. If you see people, um, you know, if, they're, if people are missing the beat and they're not hitting the musicality, you can be like, huh, are you, are you even, are you listening to it? Are you listening? Because if you tell them, then they're like, oh shit, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm missing it and I'm not getting it. So you, you call people out on these flaws. And it can seem a little messed up during the battle, but it is what it is. The battle is a battlefield and you got to come ready to fight. You got to bring all the weapons you got to really make sure that you come out victorious. So battle tactics, make sure you're studying them, make sure you're looking at other battles and seeing what it is that people do, seeing what you can take, seeing what would help you. So when you see these certain things that your opponent is doing in the battle, you can bring it out and use it against them and give yourself the upper hand in the battle. So if you like that, go ahead and hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the comment box. Let me know some of the things that you guys have done in the battle to try to get the leg up on somebody. Let's talk about it. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, if you guys got any questions, hit the comment box as well. I will get to them. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm DZ Rocks. I'm out.